Hello, my name is Michael O'Shea, and I'm the author of the best selling book, Law of Attraction and Law of Connection. This is the Certified Facilitator Spotlight Series, and I'm taking the opportunity to interview certified Law of Attraction facilitators. Matter of fact, I've certified 172 trainers in nine countries. And today I'm going to be interviewing Priya. And Priya is from Burlington, Ontario, Canada. And I'm pleased to um, talk to Priya today to find out about her successes since becoming a certified Law of Attraction facilitator. Stay tuned. I'll be right back with Priya. Hello and welcome Priya. I am so glad that uh, we got a chance to connect today for the spotlight for our certified facilitators and welcome. Thank you Michael, thanks for having me. You're welcome. So you're a fellow Canadian living in Burlington, Ontario. Uh, yes, I'm always curious to know how is it that we got initially connected? Uh, how did you find out about me or my book? Tell us that story. Well I had been using the Abraham Hicks book for quite some time but I had to a grocery store one day and your book just sort of fell out at me. In a grocery I, store? <laughs> yeah. My book's in a grocery store. We have great bookstores, little sections of books in our grocery stores in Burlington. Oh wow, great. So I, I saw your book, it was the right size and the right length for me and I picked it up and took it home and read it cover to cover right nice. that very day. Wow. And I started a book club actually oh, the really? following week with some friends in the area. And we used the tools and techniques over the next six weeks to go through your books and saw tremendous results right away. Wow, what a great idea. I love that. I'm a book club. I'm a book club somewhere. Book club guy. Oh, very good. Well, thank you very much. So you went from finding my book in a bookstore to coming to Vancouver and taking a certification training program. I mean, that's a big jump. So yeah, what was the, jump. Yeah, what, was, what stimulated your decision? Because I know you had a young baby at the time, so... Exactly. Yeah, so you made some yeah. sacrifices. So what stimulated your decision to kind of take a few days out of your life and come to the certification training? Well, having finished with your book in the book club, I went on to a coaching practice and certified through the Law of Attraction Training Center, which you offered a module in yeah. at the time as well. So I knew your style and I knew your personality from that and really connected with you. Mm -hmm. And I brought my two babies with me and knew I needed to be there at that facilitator's course because I just needed to learn more from you yes. and absorb whatever you could get give to me. Ah, great. So tell me how the certification training program kind of satisfied your needs or did I, did I satisfy your expectations or, and how did I do that? I'll, I'll assume that I did. <laughs> well, you can assume right. Absolutely. Um, if it's one thing I can say about the Certified Law of Attractions Facilitator Program is that it is so comprehensive and it takes you from start to finish. So for those of us who may not have had a coaching practice or any kind of, uh, type of formal business in play at the time, you gave us the tools to start up the content and the aftercare as well. So there wasn't really anything I was missing at all. You had it covered from start to finish. Very good. So is it, are you in your home office or are you at a different office? I'm currently in my home office today. Oh, great. So, uh, I mean, that must help raising a family and being able to work out of your home. Absolutely. I have such flexibility being able to raise my family, set my appointments when I want to, yeah. uh, see people at a distance wherever they are in the world through the use of technology, which is great. Wow. So you're coaching people, you're doing groups, you're doing seminars. Tell me one of the most common compliments that you're getting from people after they've taken your seminar? Um, well, one of the, the most common compliments is always about the results that people are seeing. I'm seeing results. I'm seeing what I want to see. Yeah. And through using the law of attraction, it is, as we know, it's a universal law. So it applies to everyone. And when we teach people how to use it properly and show them what to do with it, they're bringing into their life and their business what they want to see. Yes. I can hear your confidence in talking about it. And your confidence comes from your experience, right? It's not like, oh. well, I think it'll do this, and I think it'll do that. It's like, no, I've witnessed it over and over and over again. You exactly. Know, I, I sit back and I say, okay, what is it that you want? Yes. All right, let's get that for you. Now, are your students liking the tools that you're teaching them? Absolutely. My students love the tools that I'm teaching. And I have to say, Michael, I use the same tools in my private practice with people that are working on individual goals as I do in my corporate practice. So. You know, we're taking contrast to clarity statements right into the business workplace and using them there for people to get what they need out of their business. So I'm using all those tools, and I love the tools that you provided through the book and through the training. 
Well, congratulations for working in the corporate world. What's some, what's some of the things corporate uh, people are, tend to want to attract? Because it's different um, than <laughs> you and I. Uh, it's different than when you and I would want in the corporate world. I mean, are you teaching them business, uh, law of attraction for business, or I heard you say money. Exactly. I, what I find um, the need for me in the corporate world has been is that there's usually something going on in the business that they see the vibe that the business is offering isn't getting the results that they want. So my role as a facilitator going in is to sort of see what they're getting and by using a simple contrast to clarity tool is see what it is that they want um, and to make sure that everybody's on the same page and putting their energy, attention, and focus to just those things. It must be a big for surprise for them to because you know a lot of corporate world they hire consultants that spend hours and hours collecting and, and you know no disrespect to consultants but sometimes they spend too much time and you and I would go in there we'd identify we could tell them what you're getting in results is matching the vibration whether you yes. like it or not or believe it or not or understand it or not so I mean that's where you get started and then do the clarity through contrast that's great yes. you've had repeat business from from doing that Absolutely, uh, because I actually have a few different contracts where I go in quarterly and we keep up as, as a consultant would keep up yeah. as come in and, and track the progress and see where things are going. It's also helped with staffing issues because we start to, to discern who is a good fit for the business and who no longer is. And it's not always about um, having to fire people, but it's about people realizing themselves that they're no longer in line with the vision. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I, I held it in the whole time. I just go back to the place where you said um, um, about uh, new employees attracting new staff. Okay. It actually helps with the staffing issues that businesses are facing because through the contrast to clarity and through the exercises we're using, people are either finding that employers are not a fit and they're leaving on their own accord, or employees are finding that they're not a fit and they're deciding to make a move from the business. Wow. Well, I know in my business, I use that clarity through contrast. I mean, I'm pretty clear about what I want to attract. And I think what I'd like for everyone to get in this kind of work is that if it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. Exactly. If it's not a match, it's not a match. I think we've all done matches in the past where we might have taken a job that we knew it wasn't right and we took it anyway. Yes. And uh, before too long, the results show up. You know, it kind of creeps up on us. And I always say you wouldn't go to a buffet and choose something you didn't like and you wouldn't make a CD of music you didn't like. So why would you want to be in a relationship or have a job or have employees that didn't match as well? Exactly, and then I'm able to show people how that spills over into other areas of their life because it alters their vibration. So let's say you're going into the corporate world, you're doing physical one-on-one -on -one within corporate world. And yes. uh, are you doing Skype sessions, coaching sessions? And Skype sessions, Michael. I love Skype yeah. because it allows me to travel. I actually went on vacation uh, to Jamaica two weeks ago oh, yeah. and I was able to go from there because I can see my clients via Skype. That's awesome. Good for you. So tell me what else, um, who's your ideal client? So if, you, if I'm in Burlington and I'm watching this and I'm thinking, hey, I want to have some more Priya in my life, how can they do that? Um, well, my ideal client, first of all, is, is basically anybody because one of the things I've been able to attract through my business is diversity, which I love because it keeps things fresh and exciting for me, which is a must. Yeah. So anybody that is looking to make any form of change in their life or business is an ideal client for me. Right. And how can you get to me is, I'm doing. I'm going into corporate businesses. You can visit me at my home office, where I will take you on a one-on-one -on -one basis, or you can attend any of my monthly seminars that I give throughout the city and throughout the surrounding area of Greater Toronto area. Well, great. Well, I'm going to be giving your email address and your web address for those people that uh, are in the area and definitely want to uh, connect with you. Tell me something else that uh, you have under works or underway uh, towards building your business. Well, there's two exciting things that I have coming up. Um, one of them is a, a weekend workshop, so we're going to actually get away because there's nothing more that I like is self-development and food. So we're going to do a weekend where we're going to have stuff to eat, we're going to get together as a group and work through a lot of the issues in a sort of a boot camp kind of fashion. Yes. Um, that's coming up in September. Oh, and um, for me, I actually have a, a big client base in Trinidad, so I'm going to be traveling to Trinidad this year and doing a workshop out there over the weekend. So if anybody wants to come to Trinidad, <laughs> they can join us there. And what's the language they speak in Trinidad? They actually speak English in Trinidad. Oh, okay, because my book's in 28 languages, so it'd be interesting. Congratulations, that's awesome. Yes, I'm really excited about that. Very good. And uh, being able to go into different countries, you know, we don't have anybody trained in Trinidad. Is there anything that you'd like to say to kind of wrap up today? 
Yeah, I would just like to say that if anyone is, I know this is part of the facilitator series, and that if anyone is is sort of on the fence of taking the, the class or taking the workshop, that I would definitely recommend it. Um, it has catapulted my business, and as you can tell just from hearing me, I'm not a shy girl, I'm very confident, yeah. but you, uh, the course that I took really catapulted me to another level because of the, the tools and the techniques that you gave me, and being around people who are involved in this sort of work as well, just seeing what other avenues there are to explore and what else I could be doing with it. And you took me from one-on-one -on -one coaching to large group speaking, which um, I just needed those couple of days with you and all the tools and techniques you gave me to, to elevate my business to that level. So it must, thank you. It must be exciting for you to use all the techniques and to see people's reaction and response and everyone doing the work and raising their hands and answering questions. It's like, yeah. wow, this is easy when you know how to do it. It really is, and and again, being that I'm not a shy girl, I get asked a lot to do a lot of public speaking or to host at weddings and things like that. And I find that the techniques are, are applicable in any environment that you gave us because there are a lot of public speaking techniques and how to keep an audience captivated and how to keep, keep people involved, which is key when you're trying to create a vibe in a room or, or, or attain, attain your goals. So it definitely helped me in that respect you as know, well. My, my particular style is that I I get really distracted if I'm going to listen to somebody else, you know. I have to sit in the front row or I won't pay attention. So I know when people are using these techniques that we're calling accelerated learning techniques, they yes. really help the they really help accelerate learning. And I, I participate hundred yes. percent. Even when I was in Malaysia last year, I did twenty eight seminars in probably about thirty days, you know, like one hour things. And yes. I would go in and they would all they, they said this every time, they would say now, this is a quiet, shy group. Now, I thought Canadians were shy. Well, Malaysians <laughs> are shy, too. They would say, you know, don't expect them to raise their hand and don't expect them to repeat. And I, I said this 28 times. I would say to the host, I guarantee you I will get everybody involved in 15 seconds and I'll hold their attention for the whole time. And they said, oh, no, not in Malaysia. <laughs> in 15 seconds, people are raising hands and shouting out answers. And, you know, as adults, it's different training adults than students, as you know. You know, adults. They've got blackberries and they've got a lot of distractions and they're building grocery lists and Christmas lists and everything else. So these yes. techniques are really helpful to do that. They really are and it keeps people focused and, and attending to what you're attentive to what you're saying and they really receive the message that way. Good. Well thank you very much. It's been a delight. I'm you know, I'm pr I'm proud of you, but inside I'm proud of myself <laughs> yes. that I was able to make such a contribution and you